Inferno Olympian and World Champion and Heart and Stroke 60 Minute Kids Club Champion. Hi, I'm Hugh Smith, National Gymnastics Champion and 2016 Olympic Hopeful. And I'm also a Heart and Stroke 60 Minute Kids Club Champion. We're here today at Armbre Academy with teacher Chris Tremblay to show you kids, parents, teachers and coaches how to use the Heart and Stroke 60 Minute Kids Club Fundamental Movement Skills Tracker. Regardless if your goals are to compete on the world stage or just feel more confident and competent in daily movement or activities, it's really important to learn and master the fundamental movement skills. These skills are essential primary skills that when learned, help us develop proper motor patterns. And proper motor patterns help prevent injuries that occur when we're not performing a movement properly. Over time, if we repeat these movements, we can develop stability and mobility issues that put us at risk. So understanding fundamental skills can get really complicated, but it doesn't have to be that way. And the Heart and Stroke 60 Minute Kids Club program has worked with some of Canada's leading experts to simplify this process, making it fun and easy to learn. We've broken the learning process down into four phases, assess me, show me, teach me, and activate me. And today, we're gonna work with Chris Tremblay to show you how it's done. Hey Chris, come on over and show us what we're gonna do. Hey Chris. Hey guys. Can you show us what we're gonna do? Sure, today we're here to assess the fundamental movement skills proficiency using the Heart and Stroke Foundation 60 Minute Kids Club assessment tool. Great. And Chris, from a teacher's perspective, can you tell us why you like this tool as a way of assessing skill competency? Sure can. I can just click the skill I'm assessing on my iPad to see the four variations of skill development. Emerging, developing, acquired, and accomplished. It's digitized. After I make the assessment, I simply click on the ranking that's appropriate for the student. I can put notes in there where it's stored, also come back to it the next time we assess. It's very visual. It's comprehensive. I like the way it's broken down into assess me, show me, teach me, activate me. Some teachers and coaches aren't specialists in diagnosing movement patterns or prescribing specific movement lesson plans. So to have this resource to make that process easier helps the process to happen. If I want to access lesson plans, I can simply go into the site and download free skill-specific lesson plans to incorporate into my own classes. That's awesome, Chris. Can you tell us why parents and kids like this tool? Yeah, for sure. First of all, it's simple. Anybody can look at the demo and figure out where they are on the chart and, and they can follow the demo closely. It's visual. Kids and parents are very visual learners. For example, we showed this video to a kid on throwing and within 10 minutes of working on the visual part of the throwing instruction, she was throwing at a much higher level after 10 minutes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Chris, can you walk us through exactly how this whole process works in a class setting? Yeah, sure can. Okay, Logan, would you like to come up here? Come on up. And what I want you to do is you're gonna throw three balls from behind this black line right here. So pick up one at a time, stand back. And I'm not gonna give you any instruction at all, but I want you to throw it towards the net as hard as you can, okay? Nice throw. Excellent. Thanks very much, Logan. And Chris, how can parents and children find out about how they've charted and how to improve? They have to be a participant of the Heart and Stroke Foundation 60 Minute Kids Club program. Otherwise, the teacher will have access, but the parents and kids will not. That means they must log in, find their school, and register themselves. Does that mean they have to participate in the 60 Minute Kids Club Challenge as well? No, they don't have to, but we encourage it. Physical literacy is about proper movement, and having confidence and competency in, in one's own movements. So goal setting, healthy habits, those types of things are really important to physical literacy. Right on, that's great, because we know how important all of that is. Exactly, Hugh. And Chris, what do you expect to see as the end goal for this program? You know, it would be great to see this FMS tool uh, being used as a tool for charting and progress and evaluation for physical education. We already use the same type of systems for the three R's, you know, where we will evaluate on 
subjects in school. Then we'll present curriculum. Then we'll go back and reevaluate to see if they've progressed and what they've retained. We want to do the same thing with physical literacy. And our assess me, show me, teach me, and activate me process simplifies this. So then we hope to see more kids being confident and competent as they finish elementary school and enter high school. It's really building that foundation of skills that they can use throughout their school career and then beyond. And we will have more confident and competent kids being dropped off at the fundamental sports skills. Yeah, for sure. That should be all of our goals. Well, that's awesome. A free tool that helps us to move better. I call that smart technology. Thank you so much, Chris, for showing us how this all works. You're welcome. Thanks, kids, for being awesome demonstrators. And thank you to TELUS for putting this all together. For more information how to bring this tool into your home, your sports team, your school, or your rec center, go to fms at 60mkc.org. And remember what this is all about. Movement, Movement improvement. improvement.